Hello and welcome back to another video with me, B5 Simpilot, and welcome to this very short video today where I'm going to be showing you how you're going to get the best performance out of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, I've already done a video showing you how to optimize your graphic settings within the sim, but today I'm going to be showing you a couple different things that you can do outside of the sim to help get rid of all those stutters and everything like that. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down to the search bar at the bottom and you want to type in game mode. Now, game mode, you want to turn this off. Now, I don't know why, but this is a setting that if it's on, then you get quite a lot of stutteriness in the sim. So turn this off and it should help reduce some of that screen tearing and stuff like that. Uh, next, then you want to come to the uh, Xbox game bar and you want to turn this off. Now, this is just... Uh, the Xbox Game Bar app which runs automatically in the background which will take up PC resources so turn this off and you'll get more of your PC resources going to the simulator and hence get better FPS. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to search up graphic settings. Now when you come on here you want to come down to the bottom here and you want to select the desktop app or Microsoft app wherever you've got Microsoft installed and find it then come on the options tab and you want to select high performance which will be your highest GPU which will give you the maximum performance um, out of your PC. Uh, and then at the top turn off the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Don't know why, again this seems to create a big impact on your FPS and your stuttering and screen tearing and things like that so turn that off. Um, next you want to come onto the desktop, right click and go to the Nvidia control panel. Now when this loads up, take a second, you want to come to the Manage 3D settings and this is just the settings under your graphics card settings. So you want to come over to program settings here at the top and you want to click on this drop down menu and find Microsoft Flight Simulator and then click add. Um, and then second of all, you want to select the high performance Nvidia processor. Then you can see we've got some settings down here. You can see we've got a bigger list of things that we can change. So starting at the top you want to set the anisotropic filtering to 16 times. That means that in the sim you can actually turn this to off and this way around you get the maximum performance without any visual um, loss. For some reason if you do it in the sim and you do it 16 times in the sim and off here you seem to get a lot worse FPS and I don't know why. Um, but yeah anyway so Anti-aliasing FXAA, you want to turn this to off. Then the anti-aliasing gamma correction, you want to turn this on. Then the anti-aliasing mode, select this to application controlled. And this means that the Microsoft will auto-optimize this to the best of its ability. Then you want to set the anti-aliasing transparency to multi-sample. Then the CUDA GPUs to all and select your highest graphics card. You may have more than one to so select your uh, best one and then click OK. And uh, oh, accidentally click that. Uh, make sure that's off. Okay, moving down, make sure, yep, yeah, like I said, that's all good. And then make sure the low latency mode is on ultra. Then max frame rate, you can set a max frame rate, so I've have mine to 33 FPS. And this means that, well in, in the sim you only need 30 to 40 FPS maximum really, so if you select this to 33 or a low number, then the rest of your PC resources will be diverted to keeping a stable frame rate and you won't get any stutters or lagging um, or anything like that. So yeah, do that. Um, then the open rendering GPU, select this to your highest GPU once again. And then on power management mode, select this to maximum performance so you can get the maximum performance out of the battery and the PC will run at its best ability. Um, so yeah, that's a big one. Then texture filtering, select this to off. And texture filtering negative LOD bias, select this to clamp. Then final few ones, texture filtering quality, select this to quality. Um, this doesn't really have a big effect on frame rate. Then the texture filtering, select this to on. 
Third optimization, put this to on. Now, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 isn't PC threaded optimized yet, but if you put this on, then the stuff that happens in the background on your PC, this will help it uh, cope better. So put this to on. Then triple buffering off VSync to fast, and then virtual reality pre-rendered frames to one. And then you can come down and click apply. And so that's the first thing we need to do on here. Now, the second thing we need to do on here is come to the adjust image settings with preview. Now, this one, if you're still not getting as many frame rates as you want, then what you can do is you can select the use my preference emphasizing and you can select the, it's the 3D imaging stuff and you can select this to quality, balanced and performance. So if you're not getting as good performance as many FPS, then you can select this to performance and you can see the edges and it just doesn't look quite as good, but it will give you a lot more FPS. So like for me, I'm going to keep mine on performance because I need all the frames I can get. So uh, yeah, you can do that and then once again, come down to the bottom and click apply. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. So you can go ahead and close that. And uh, yeah, see if your PC See if the sim gets any more frame rates than you did before. If this has helped you, then please let me know down in the comments. I really um, enjoy hearing you know, what you guys tell me and if it's helped you. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.